Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And as you can see, I have been busy since the last episode. I, I decided to do a little bit of paving here, try to fill up these holes a little bit, and make a little neater around here. Do the same on this side. I might extend this a little bit, but I haven't laid down the greenhouses yet, so I don't know how big it's going to... How much space I actually need. Uh, as you can see, I've also color coded the place. I decided I'm going to keep the main tower and the floor in the black, and it's almost a gray, sort of like a faded military green, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the print room here, we're going to make this brown. Uh, I've actually thought about it. I'm not going to keep any resources in here. We're going to have a main storage uh, up on the technically second floor. And as you can see, I painted the walls and the ceilings too, just try to get a little bit of color. And then the uh, same thing with the uh, power room here. Power room's all red. And then over here we got our green room where it's going to be food, medical supplies, and whatnot. And as you can see, I replaced all the ceiling tiles with small blocks. And I figured, why not? Let's have a little bit of fun with the colors. So we got a little black and, black and yellow border going around. I put the BC. P Labs here. Uh, one of the viewers was commenting about how he wishes it was multiplayer to be able to come in and randomly paint my walls different colors. And I was joking around saying I that I should replace the floor with small blocks and put it put, put his face here. And someone liked it, so I think we're gonna have to do that. Maybe next episode. That's takes a lot of time. There's a lot of blocks here. I haven't counted, but it's got to be at least a thousand. But anyways, what we're going to do today is we're going to start getting everything all set up. I have been extremely busy crafting everything. As you can see, my inventory is full of all these high-tier items. I've been at the... Well, where is it? Down south. At uh, the other mine down there, getting a whole bunch of stuff. And needless to say, it was a bit of a grind, but I did get some stuff. I had to move the miners a few times. Uh, there is uranium over there somewhere. There was a uranium node, and I gotta find find out exactly where that is. So what we gotta do before we begin is figure out how I'm gonna have the conveyor system set up. Preferably, I'd like to have all the pipes going on the outside, so I might put up a T section there, go across here, and then I had another T section here. So maybe you'll have a wrap around the building. I'm gonna do all the conveyor pipes orange, just so they sort of stand out and have sort of like a factory look to them. Uh, that's actually going to be a ways to get down to the, the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by getting the water pump set up. I have enough to make two water pumps and the, the big deuterium generator. It's actually not as big as it, you think it would be. But I'm going to get that these all set up. So I'm going to run some pipes down there, get some pumps going, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, it's all done. So as you can see, you got my orange conveyor pipe going out. Uh, I put a cross section here just so I can hook the miners to it so, so it supplies the system. But here it is, my little water pumping station. I've got it all closed off right now, but I decided to put a roof on it. But I have, as you can see by the red icons, I have two water pumps in there. They, are, they weren't touching the bottom, but I dug it out a little bit more and I just put this down here just to, for aesthetic purposes. And of course it is raining, which is no big deal. Yeah, well, maybe it is. Maybe we'll go take a quick nap. I gotta get this stuff sorted. I got so much stuff in my inventory. I went through a lot of mechanical parts there. But let's go ahead and get rid of this nasty rain, and then we'll go set up our power station. Oops. That's what I want. Yes. Alright, so now... Now we gotta connect the conveyor from outside. I'll probably... I don't know if I'm going to run it inside the corners. Oops. Got stuck there. Really should think about putting a door here somewhere eventually. But I am going to be filling this out a little bit more, so that's why I left the one high here. And I tried to step in the best I could. It'd be nice if you had just a hose you could roll down the hill and automatically connect. But yeah, so now I'm going to hook up this conveyor. Go across the wall here up to here. And then sort of zigzag my way into that conveyor port over there. Alright, she's all hooked up. So now the question is, is that actually connected to the whole system? Because I have had issues with this before, especially the fact that it hasn't been anchored from there all the way over to here. And then my connection is, I think, this one right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick a small container on the port here and see if I can actually see see the, the water pumps. So where are the small containers? Uh, hmm. Get rid of that. 
And water pump two. Where's water pump one? Uh, we're gonna have to go take a peek, find out what happened here. I'm only seeing one water pump. Maybe I forgot to finish the conveyor, which is more than likely. Well, at least to give you a chance to see inside here. So let's see what the problem is. Couldn't use ceiling tiles because my it was all off. All right, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I think I know which one it is. Get that old hover mode back in. Aha! There you go. All right, let's let's go check this. Pretty sure that was it, but. Uh, yeah, so what's next on the agenda? So that we got that, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna finish that up and I'll meet back in the power room. Okay, so here we are. So what I wanna do is, first I wanna get the big generator down, which isn't that big. And I think, cause I wanna get a couple of battery banks in here too. Uh, maybe put the generator on here and then we'll have a two walls of batteries maybe. I have been, thinking about uh, being in survival here and the, the different options that are available to me such as fuel and accessing inventories and I might be able to use it to my advantage and try to do some interesting out of the park things. Where is the refiner? The refiner is here. I know it doesn't have to be in the same room but may as well. As I'll probably get a second refinery set up somewhere. And since everything in this room is going to be for power, it's all going to be red. Same with all my switchboards, too. So we'll do that. Go ahead and change that to red. Uh, finish that up. And hook it up with conveyors. Which are going to be orange. So let me uh, finish this up and I'll bring you back when it's time to fire it up. Okay, so I've got it all set up right now. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't have any power. Uh, so for the time being, I'm just going to lay a couple of switchboards on the ground and we'll just use them as an extension cord for now until we start getting some water being produced. Alright, so I'll do that. Oh, that's the wrong color. What am I doing? There we go. Got to be red. You got to stay consistent here. Alright, take you. We'll connect you to uh, you. Yes. And you. And then I also gotta run power out to the switchboard, uh, the water pumps too. So there's that, and then there is that. So the refinery's got power. So that's what we were making. We need clean water for that. Actually, we can do it right now. Let's go ahead and craft it and see how long, how much power we get out of it. And that big generator should fire up automatically. Uh, so now I gotta get some switchboards. Uh, let's see. Uh, I was I have to get some power hubs on the outside. Why not? Okay, we'll put one here. Actually, no. Just put it there. All right. Uh, since I'm here, and then we'll put another one here. And now this one, can I place it on top? Oh, I can't. Hmm. All right, well, it's gonna have to be a ground box. Same with here. Gotta make sure it's gonna be some, nowhere I'm gonna be mining. And uh, that one. Okay, we finish that. We finish this without leaving a big gaping hole in the ground. And that. And hopefully, hopefully it all reaches. Yes. And, okay. Now this one goes here. And then over here, and then you, 
There. And all the thing that's left to do is connect these two, and then the water pump should have power. At the moment, I don't have any storage, so I do have to be careful. And this one will just go over here. Look at that, 8,000 watts. Ooh, one little cell is going to get me two and a half hours of this usage. Cool. All right, now, let's... Uh, we don't have a box, do we? No, we don't. I'll stick a box in here. I want to see how much water those things are getting. I don't care what color it is. It's technically the power room, so it's be okay. So it seems like it should be able to keep itself going. It should be self-sustaining, which is good. So all we do is we just go here. Craft unlimited water. That's all we do. Or, uh, that's, yeah. Unlimited deuterium. I actually realized I need a food and drink machine in here, too. So I might as well put one over here. Now, where is it? Medium food and drink machine, which does have a port. Good. And I don't have any reinforced frames. Give me a moment. Okay. I got it hooked up. So now, I use this one, and I just have this crafting unlimited water. I will have to come in here and requeue it up. And as long as I get pretty, uh, plenty of carbon, I should be okay. I do have the silicone mine over there, which is producing a lot of carbon as it is. So we should be good there. So that is our power. We do. Let's uh, see what I have on me for supplies. I do have to gather a few more. And I gotta take care of my vitals, so give me a moment, and then we'll get a, a battery bank or two set up. Okay, so I got everything ready to make a whole bunch of batteries. So I gotta see what's going on here. Uh, I gotta throw some carbon in here. And that's gonna make our water, so this thing can make our deuterium, so this thing can generate power. And look at that. Still on the first one. 364.4444 watts. And what is using that? Oh, it's probably the battery's charging. That could be it. Anyways, so now, speaking of batteries, uh, I don't know how many I want to put, you know, just in case for whatever reason we're out of carbon. Not that it's ever going to happen, but I'm going to do it because. Alright, so again, we're going to go red. Uh, let's see what side I want. Let's go like this. So, hang on. I'm sorry about that. Alright, so each one is 100. Let's see if we can do... Let's go to a 20. 3, 4, 8, 5. Yeah, that's what I think we'll do. Whoops. That's not what we'll do. But you get the idea, so let me go ahead and finish this up. And we'll, I'll get it all wired, and we'll go from there. Okay, there's my power room. As you can see, I put some switchboards up on the ceiling, so that way if when I do have build vision on, at least I don't have the lines going through my face. So at least it kind of keeps things neat and tidy. And as you can see, I decided to go overkill on the battery bank. I've got 64 batteries here, which means these will hold just as much, almost as much power as this thing puts out. As you can see, we're kind of tipping the scale here at 6,000, but that's fine because we already have four deuterium already. So that's doing good. I gotta get some carbon into here because we're out of water, but that is fine. So that's up and charging. I also put these two on separate switchboards so we can uh, turn one bank on or off if we really need to. Oh, really? Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have to change that then. I'll take that out. And we'll put one. Actually, no, we'll put it right above it. Why is it still charging? Or maybe it's just not updating. I have no idea. Alright, let's go back up there. Do that. Alright, so this one... Oh. This one will connect there to there. And this one connects from there to there. 
So now when I go and shut that one off, it'll isolate this set of batteries. When I turn that one off, I isolate that one. So now I gotta connect this back up to there. So now you can see that that side's charging. I can turn it off, and they're not gonna charge now. If I turn this side on, they start charging. So that's that's good. So now for the print room. Next stop, the print house. I do gotta get a light in here too. Now this was brown. Oh, it's not. That's not brown. That's brown. And again, we'll go and throw a light in here so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, and I will have to go outside to get the extension cord for this one. Actually, I want to make this a little easier. Because I have it on the other side of this conveyor. I'll go ahead and make that red. Connect that to there, and... Oh, leg spike. Autosave. Could have gone to the other side, but I think we'll go on to this one here. Alright, so now we have light. You can see it through the floor, ceiling, whichever. Alright, so now how do I want to do this? Question of how many printers I really need. Because uh, I got a conveyor port here, so I might get it to go down here. Maybe get the usual four pack on one side, and then on the other side, maybe I'll get like the, the armory and possibly the refinery. So let me go ahead and lay something out and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, so here's my uh, printer room. I might look at, I was thinking about getting some extra lights in here, but I know that the light from these things get cumulative, so if I put four of them in here, it might get too too bright in here. Uh, it is a bit of a darker color, but at the same time too, it's not really, it's not all that bright in here either. I might have to get some strip lights instead or something. Uh, but yeah, so over here I just put the four printers, and the reason why I have four printers is usually I get one going on mechanical parts, one circuits, uh, one on what the other one? Uh, frames and plating. I probably should get one going on glass too, but I need about as much glass as I need circuits. So the one that does circuits can do circuits and glass, just alternate back and forth. And then I have the armory in here for now. And I don't know, I might put some storage in at some point in time. Uh, what I did also do too, is I actually forgot to do this before, is uh, I put a conveyor out output on this wall here because I need to get to the uh, the food and drink area. And that actually reminds me, I think I gotta put another one on this side. Actually, no, I do have it, it's right there. So I just gotta connect those up together and then I'll probably have a T right about here because that's gonna go up and connect to the storage. Originally, I was gonna have the pipes inside and try to work it around the staircases we're gonna have going up to the second floor, but that wasn't the case. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it this way. And so far, it's not too bad. Again, like I said, the, the lighting could be a bit better uh, oh yeah, we need build vision, and we need to go back to our orange conveyors. Okay, orange, yes. So now this is just a matter of wrapping this around in the back, and in the same fashion I'm going to have it laying on the floor, just because I have gone through so many resources. I don't want to get these printers up and going yet, uh, just because... I have no storage. If I connect that miner up to the system, it's going to flood every single machine with with everything that it's mining. Uh, yeah, I'll just go over here. So, yeah, just simple like this. Uh, I'm actually curious to see what kind of lag I'm going to get whenever I decide to take off somewhere and come back. Uh, I'll find out. Can I go one more? Uh, whatever, it's fine here. So yeah, I'm gonna connect this. I'm gonna get it connected to the other room there, and I'll bring you back when we're time to get our I'll call it our kitchen set up. Okay, it's all connected. So I put the T section here because the um, the wall connector with the T set the conveyor port on it. I'm sorry, is actually three three blocks wide. So we got one. A dead space here, we have the conveyor port, and then we have a dead space here. And that's what I noticed here. This is actually three wide, and I had to use the single to actually fill in the slot. So that's why I got the T-section there. And I was thinking about it. While we're here, we might as well go ahead and finish uh, paving the area here. 
go in here and we'll just get some of these tiles in here and that way I was originally going to put some slopes on the bottom to cover up the color at the bottom but you know if we just pave it pave it all over hide it nobody will see it nobody will care I won't care I'm sure some of you, some of you might say hey what are you doing you cheater getting lazy oops yeah Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. No, there we go. That's what I want. So, yeah, and then uh, I don't know how far I'm going to go with this. No, I can't go too close to this. So I might just go right up to here. I do have lots of stuff being produced. I still have plenty of resources. I just have to manually feed it into the printers at the moment. But it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see if we can get in here. Like so, I'll tell you, I sure come a long way from everything being white. I think that's probably why I'm using so much color now. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of this and get this all filled in. Probably go right up to probably the same thing, one block here or one tile here, and not in that particular spot, but you know exactly what I mean. And then I'll probably see about filling in the whole area. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about doing, like uh, one of my main ideas with the storage area, was I was going to try to to try to force sort everything. Like I'm going to have a whole bunch of large containers up there, and I was thinking about having like one of, you know, like take half a container and put one of one frame and half the slots, so all the frames go in there and do the same with the iron and the silicone and the plates and the water and everything else but eventually that was going to get out of hand and as soon as one slot empties then that's it it's it's over it all becomes a mess so i'm just going to let it do what it wants to do but i was thinking about it for like off-site mining i want to get some sort of some sort of transport hauler set up where we can go and drop off containers and pick up ones that have already been filled up uh can use a uh, conveyor connectors as sort of like uh, call them docking hubs, whatever. So I drop the container down, and there'll be a couple, uh, at least a couple of them around, just to make sure that it actually gets con connections. So I don't have to be, you know, in a particular exact spot to make it work. And then I can drop it off, pick up another one that's already connected to another one, and then well, next time I go back, that other one will already be filled. I don't have to worry about the miner stop running because it doesn't have anything. And yeah, it'll probably be a big container. We'll get a little area here for shipping containers, probably. Uh, if I do, I won't be able to actually lay foundation because then I might have issues with it clipping through. But anyways, let me finish uh, paving here. I'll probably I'll leave this back corner for now, and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right. So as you can see, I got this corner here done. That's got a strip going down the side here. Uh, I might extend this one or two more green. I don't know, but uh, that's going to come right to the corner here, and then. Uh, again, at the other side here, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as the shipping goes. We're definitely going to figure something out. But now, let's go and get this all set up. Since we got the conveyors all set up, I want to get this set up so I can get the storage going. And then we can get the miners running. I don't know how many I'm going to do. Uh, if I do four printers, then I should have four miners, te uh, technically. Uh, we do need a switchboard in here, so let's go ahead and get a red out, and then we need a uh, switchboard, and then I also need to check to make sure I'm recording. Okay, I am. Uh, I actually play full screen on a single monitor, so I don't, I can't actually see if I'm recording or not. Except for the fact that I know I pushed the button. Alright, so now where is, oh yeah, we were going to have the... Uh, junction boxes outside and I thought I had one out there guess I didn't I will put one right here why not uh, something to add a little variation to the color here okay and then we'll connect you to uh, I'm gonna have to put some doors in I think yeah definitely Alright, connect you to there. And. Ah, uh, where were you? Was it just this one? I guess so. Alright, well, yeah, I definitely need a door then. Um, hmm. 
could put a door right here. Except for the fact the conveyor is in the way. What shall we do here? Could move the conveyor up. Ah, forget it. We'll put a door here. Alright, door. And. Uh, let's use that. Okay, go to two. We want that. Like so. Uh, can I get that, please? Thank you. There we go. Alright, so now we got a door there. I'm gonna put a door over here, so we'll put this one right here. Yeah, my inventory's a little full right now. It's like Minecraft. It's always full. Okay, and this one is green. Okay, and... Can I get... Oh, glass. Um, hmm. Well, it's got glass and glass. That's why I don't like is it makes two separate containers for one thing. And then I can stack here. No. Yes. Game does need a little bit of inventory tweaking. Okay, excuse me. And let's grab that. Get back in build vision here. Okay, connect that. And then as we get a light in here. And the light was there. I think they were talking about putting uh, 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 different hot bars, like uh, like different hot bars set, so you can cycle through. Like uh, um, if you're doing like base building or rover building or something like that. I don't want to ask if we can uh, connect that door up too. All right, so let's get the greenhouses out here. Let's do that. I'm gonna get two of them going. Let's see how big they are. They're actually pretty big. Alright, then this is what we do then. Just because. You know, it's gonna suck if they ever ever introduce the having to use resources to make these or to change the colors. Technically, I should be doing this brown uh, for like soil, but whatever. Color, color, go with everything. So let me uh, get this done and get these down, and then I'll bring you back when it's time for the conveyors and. The inner goods. Alright, there we go. So I got two of them set up here. Um, I have one doing one, one doing the other, whatever it's going to be. Uh, I think one's got to need to have herbs and one for medical supplies, I believe. I have no idea. What do I know about survival? <laughs> the only thing I know of survival is half the stuff I built is trying to kill me. And succeeded most of the time. Alright, so do the same thing. Go ahead and do like so. Alright, and throw a T here. Another elbow. A couple more straights to there. And one more. Yes. Okay, almost there. And then we go inside, and then we just gotta get the final machines we're gonna put in. And then after that, then we're gonna go finish up the main, main part of the building there. Uh, seven. And six. Five. I should have known that. Really gotta be careful your aim here. You might miss and go the wrong color like that. Haha. <laughs> I intentionally did that. 
the same time too like if I have two of these going let's say I have one doing herbs and one doing fruits and nuts then I can get the fruit and nut one for instance brown and have that one green for herbs that actually might be a good idea not that it matters because it all goes back into the system anyways but oh yeah let's change this sometimes that doesn't want to come up I'm actually trying to hit my middle mouse button in case you're wondering okay so what do we put in here uh, I know we're gonna put the med bay in here I uh, hope I have enough materials on me I'm gonna have to go and make some more stuff soon get some more iron running the whole nine yards uh, food and drink machine yes uh, we've got the med bay food and drink machine I don't think we really need anything else is there I don't think so. Ah, but this is maybe the soup chamber. I don't know. I do plan on adding little decorations eventually with uh, small blocks. That's once we start getting production going. Uh, you know, just for decorative purposes. So, there's uh, med bay. Let's put the med bay in the corner. What are the ports? Uh, do that one there and then the food and drink machine I will have right here alright let me hook it up the con conveyors well orange conveyors as soon as I scrounge up more of those damn things alright I'll be back okay got it all now let's go ahead and finish that up finish that up and hook it all up to the system Get the right color conveyors, of course, and I don't know why I was doing that. All right, like that. Get about a five down here. So yeah, uh, my idea for the main hole there, which we're gonna get to in a second here, is that it's gonna be two floors high, so it's gonna require four staircases to go up. And I'm gonna have. Hang on, let me get this. Usually, why I don't build too much on camera because I always think about what I'm doing, and sometimes I'm not exactly entertaining enough. But we should be. Should have enough room, right? Okay, good. I thought I, thought I put myself in a bad spot. Like I was just now. Okay, and one here, another one in the corner. Come on. There we go. And okay, good. I do have enough. I have enough parts on me. I've gone through a few of those mechanical parts already, and I just dyed my. Uh, Food and drink machine, a different color. Okay, back to orange. Finish this all up. And that should be all good. Go ahead and hook up Z power. Oh, I gotta, uh, gotta get another switchboard outside too. Gotta get those greenhouses powered. Go red. And we'll stick you. I'm trying to sort of line them up with the, uh, oh yeah, with the conveyor ports. Oh, I still got a feed in from the other side too. And I love the lights on those. Okay, so yes, now I should have put a T back there. Oh well, actually no, it's not. It's not too late. What am I talking about here? Yeah, okay, get that out. that another seven and connect it to that which is already connected to the rest of it so let me get this done and then uh, we'll head off to the main hall all right there we go hooked connected powered ready to go so uh, is that sun going down or up hang on where's my shadow 
it's going down. So I actually do have to get a few resources ready. So let me take a quick nap, get some stuff processed, and I'll bring you back when it's time to get some storage going so we can get up and running. Okay, so I have everything ready. So what I need to do is I actually first need to find out where the stairs are actually going to fit. Because I can't go too close to this wall and I like to keep the rounded wall instead of the flat one. So where is it going to let me place this? Oh, there we go. Can I go closer? Yes, I can go one more. And then I think there is going to be it. Just to be safe. Let's actually see if we can... See if we can actually clear the... And that part there. Now let's get a few more blocks on there and find out. That should be high enough. And, and oh yeah, we'll clear it. So that's where we're gonna go then. So I know I can go right up to here. So if that's gonna end there, then the first staircase is gonna go. right here oh. there as soon as it stops twi twitching and we place a block here and then we get the next staircase up and then I'll of course fill it in with uh, armor blocks as we go oh yeah that's right you don't connect to this front you connect from the bottom that's fine that is fine, because I th I'll actually have enough room to get three staircases up as soon as the things stop twitching on me and helps if I place it in the right spot. I go back to one here. Yeah, it's something to do with uh, this uh, only aligning to the grid if it can snap. The hat feature that they added. So I'm going to go one more there, and now let's take advantage of this hover mode. And I like this hover mode, this jetpack, even though it's only Mark III, it actually replenishes pretty good. So now I need another staircase, like so, and then another block, uh, like so, and then back to the staircase. And that's what throws it off when you're building with different size blocks, is because they change the... Call it the well the the distance that that places the block at, uh, depending on the size. So an armor block, it's all can only a place this close, but something like a base foundation will let you place that far away. So it's kind of throws you off. But I want to see how high this is going to be, and I am going to have a row of blocks between every. It's actually I can use the right color here. Every wall section. Oops, I fell off. Come on. Alright, then we go for a wall. Uh, where's the corner here? Oh, right here. Perfect. Uh, wall is four. So that's going to be perfect. Because it's right, right where our floor is going to be. And then up here is where I'm going to have all the containers. So let me get the walls up and, uh, and the floor, and I'll bring you back in when it's done. Uh, as far as the stairs go, I don't know what color I want to do. I almost want to do black stairs. Let's see how they look. <laughs> yeah. There are bugs in this game sometimes. Come on. There we go. Let's see how it looks in this color. Ah, we'll keep it that way. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, I got the next floor set up. I uh, put a, some lights in here. Oh, that's not a uh, They don't really light up too much, so I might have to bring them in a little bit, but that's what I've done for now. I don't really see the floor too much, but that's fine. You come up here, I'm sure you see it. Uh, it's an awful lot of black, too, so that doesn't help much. But then we come up here, and this is going to be the main storage room. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is, unlike the floor down below, this is all going to be straight up walls, no windows. And I still will keep the one block gap. 
So I'm gonna do that, and then the other side here. Oh yeah, I was making frames. Uh, and then what I gotta do too is I gotta make sure that I put the conveyor port. Is so on this side? Yes. So the conveyor has to go right here. So this wall corner has to go right here. And the conveyor uh, wall, external wall connector with conveyor goes there. So uh, then I just, um, same thing. I'm going to have the one block gap there. Uh, I'm going to get those walls up and I'll bring you back when it's time to get uh, the containers in and the conveyors. Okay, here we are. So this is where the containers are going to be. And yeah, I don't know if you're going to consider this overkill, but I'm going to put a few of them in. Uh, I'm going to try to get two dozen in here and see how much room that is. So let's, uh, what color should we make these? It's, uh, hmm, clearly we're not using. Uh, let's go with black containers. Why not? So I have no idea how far I can stick it actually start at this end because there's always there's that one little spot in the corner that you can't connect to so I'm gonna do that and three four okay. one two three four five and six I'm going to put another six on top, and then the other side here, i got to make sure that I have access to that conveyor. So one, two, three, four, should we just go with 20 or should we go three high? I don't know if we can go three high, let's see what we got with two. Uh, we won't get three high. And still, that's uh, a lot of space. So I think maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just go with 20 for now. And that one is off. Actually, no, I can't do the 24. Let's do this. All right, so then I got seven on that side. I mean, I Ghost is sometimes too much. And like so. So that is going to give us 24 containers at 120 slots a piece. That should hold us up. And should be able to go full scale production, not have to worry about anything. Is that too far in or what? Uh, let me see here. Yes, it was. All right, and then after this, it's just a matter of connecting them all with conveyors and hooking up to the system. And the only thing left to do after that, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, the only thing to do after that is to get the miners up and running. I probably will go with, go with four of them, just be, just because I might actually see if I can get that silicone going too. Because we will need that for glass and circuits. And I was also trying to think about how I was going to do these conveyors. And I think just to make it cheaper, I might come off of here, bring it up to about here. And then... So i got to connect to two different ports here. So maybe a T and a U go across and then uh, let me figure this out and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, I have it all hooked up. Well, not to the entire, every, the rest of the lab, but I do have all the containers connected to each other. And as I was filling in the last couple of conveyors, there was a bit of lag and I'm actually scared to open these things. But before we go on, uh, the only thing that's left to do is, well, there's two things left to do. One of them just happens to be hook this bad boy up here. 
Get this pipe running up the side of the wall. And then after this, and I gotta go out to those miners. I gotta get all those res the resources that's in both of them. Actually, get them into the into the containers. And then we gotta get more miners placed down, connected to conveyors. So I will have to. Yeah, that stutter you see, that, that's real. Uh, I can only imagine this number of blocks in this thing right now. Alright, so this is going to be... That's going to be the painful one right there. Oh yeah, there's some lag. Did I break it? I almost broke it. I'm going to be the first time. Uh, I predict some extreme lag entering this system. Oh, I got the wrong color conveyor there. What am I doing? Ah, that's the problem right there. Okay, so now... I'm actually scared to do this now. <laughs> uh, what do I need for the miners? Let's see here. I probably have to make stuff. Yes, I need reinforced plates. I need those circuits. And then I need a whole bunch more of other stuff. So what do I have on me? Okay, I have those. Let's actually... Mark II plates and the... Mark II composites. I have those. I have the plates. I just need a few more of those circuits. And everything for the conveyor. So let me get that all set up and then we'll get a couple of more miners here and then maybe see if we can get this guy hooked up as well. Okay, so I've got mo both miners empty. I've got that one taken out. I haven't taken this one out yet. Might as well do that now while we're here. Uh, I did a little bit of prospecting. There's actually a good spot over there. We're going to go hit up and take that out. Uh, I opened up the system, it actually wasn't that bad. So I'm actually shocked about that. So as you can see, we should actually have everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and drop some miners down so we can get, oh no, we cannot drop miners yet. No, we have to uh, conveyor, which is up here. Is there anything here? No, okay. So that means I gotta branch off. And I'll go this way. Sure. Go parallel. Been a while since I've had a pair of conveyors running next to each other. And just for the sake of it, let's make it all lined up. I just put the T section there because I ought, or the cross section there because I didn't actually didn't know where I was going to be mining. I thought it was going to be still over there, but since I got the silicone and the iron right here, I'm also take advantage of it. So let's go, yeah, right there. Where does this line up? Let's actually go right to the, the corner here. Go that way. And bring it this way. All right, so we got one mine right here, two. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put it, uh, hmm. Let's do it this way. So I think, let's see here. Where does this line up? No, actually, I think I do want to keep it there. Alright, so we go back to six. And we do that. And we do that. And I think we go one, two, three. No, 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 no. Okay. Go. Yeah, I'll go two out, and then we put the T in. Then we'll go one, two, three. 
Uh, let's go four. Why not? And then we put that there. And I believe we do need to have another one of those. There and there. And the good old claw. Alright. Let's see what these get us. Just gonna assume we get something. Enter? No. That's uh, okay because I can fly. Alright, finish this up, then I gotta hook up the power to it. I can actually use that switchboard that's there. You know, you when I first built that generator, I started thinking, well, geez, am I really gonna use that much power? And now I'm thinking about it, it's like, yeah, definitely gonna need that much power. Okay, now can I borrow you for a second? Thank you. Alright, 37, 37, 1, that is fine. 15, 50, not bad. That's not what I was looking for though. This is the spot I want right here. I do believe, so let's go. Go one more. And. Then we'll go with T. That's not X. And where does that end up? Sure, and then we'll go in the elbow and then we'll see if we can drop one more over in the corner there. Okay, and then... This is going to be like a really rich area right here. One more. One more for the road. Go back to straights. And I think that should be fine. Okay, I was having a little trouble snapping there. Now I hope that's not too close. Bingo. All right. Now I do realize I didn't leave any room for any expansion whatsoever on this line, but I still do have the other side of that cross section. So we are good on that front. And that being said, and a huge lag as it connects to the system. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you'll get used to that. Trust me, you will. Oh, I cannot get to that. There it is. All right, what do we got in here? 36, 36, 1, and this one was 37, 37, 1. Why am I not getting silicone? Oh, well. We got silicone. We can always get that thing go over there going again. Might try that spot once more. So now, now that that is hooked up, let's actually clean up our little bit of a mess here. Because we do not need these batteries anymore. Take that out, get the solar panels back. We don't need solar power anymore. We're technically hydrogen powered, I believe. If we're making fuel out of basically water that's our power plant over there then yeah we're we're clean burning we're burning something that's certainly clean all right so now let's go in here and uh do the last thing we need to do oh yeah the door was over here I'm trying to find a good place to put these doors and i have no idea where to put them i thought i had one here it was on the other side somewhere let me in, I'm locked out. There it is. Ow. Okay, so. Now. Now, 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 now. 
Adventure 1. Craft me plates. Thank you. Crafter 2. Or, Crafter 1, craft me frames. Craft me plates. Okay, there we go. And again, if you're new to the channel, this is nothing new, so... You'll get used to it. Uh, hmm. Sure. The last one. Hmm. Do we need mechanical parts or circuits more? Ah, let's go with this mechanical parts. Why not? Don't worry about that number. That's going to go up real soon. Well, there we have it. We have the lab up and running. New Year. Got our pr production going on, going on. Those four printers are running full bore right now. We have four miners running. We have our water-powered power plant. This thing is just going crazy. It's got all the carbon it needs to generate all this water, which we have half a stack of deuterium already. We have enough power to last us a lifetime. No, that's, that's what I was looking for. And right now we're getting 25 hours off of one of these. Or is that telling me what I have in the entire system? Let's actually check that. Oh, yeah. But even then, that number was, keeps going up because we get more water. We have. There is just so much carbon up there. Let me take you a little tour of the little box of a lag. And that's another thing I forgot too is to set up a little small little access box. But I can actually set that up in the printer room because I have that port on the armory. So, this is it. Yes, that is lag. That is not a problem with the video. This is me in a nutshell. There we go. What was it? Alt to close everything? There you go. I don't know where the 25, 26, 27, 32s are coming from because I've only built 24 of these. Mind you, I'm not seeing zeros or ones. One, two, three, or anything like that. But that is it. I think everything's in there. You can see the water pumps. Water pumps have a full inventory already. Oh, let's go to all. So you can see they're full of water. Uh, surprisingly, they weren't actually they weren't putting the water into the inventories of like the printers and the greenhouses and stuff like that. Uh, there we have it. So we're up and running. So that means next uh, next episode we could probably start start working on building something. I gotta put the roof on here. Uh, should probably even look at maybe getting that off-site mining going. Like I probably have to go back to the cobalt mine, see what's going on over there, see what we have for where is it over there? Oh, for supplies. And yeah, and then because it's about time we start making some hover pads and air blades and all sorts of fun stuff. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.